Hey guys, so I could not be more excited that we're getting a Wolfman movie. I love those classic monster movies and it definitely feels like we're getting a revival of them. We've got The Invisible Man that came out not long ago. We've got the Guillermo, Guillermo, however you say his name, Del Toro movie rumoured to be coming out about Frankenstein. We've got another rumoured movie from James Wan, a creature of the Black Lagoon movie, which sounds amazing. You know, it feels like these movies have been a long time coming. There was the whole concept of the Dark Universe, which if you don't know, they were going to sort of do this idea of like a Marvel-style cinematic universe full of the classic monster movies. And they were starting it off with the Mummy reboot, which failed. And I put it down to Tom Cruise. Look, I'm not saying he's a bad actor, but he was like trying to do an action movie where he does his typical jumping out of a plane thing, which I think is in every contract. But he has to jump out of a plane. And you know what? It didn't work. It didn't feel like a Mummy movie. It just felt like a generic action movie. And it had so much potential, which was really disappointing because... I love the movie from the 90s with Brendan Fraser and then they did The Invisible Man and you know what? I do feel like that is where they redeemed themselves. That was an excellent movie. That was directed by Lee Winnell who is going to direct The Wolfman so that automatically gives me faith in this movie. And we have Nosferatu coming up soon which I could not be more excited about. I love those gothy type movies. So it's an exciting time to like those classic monster movies and apparently Blumhouse has all the rights to the Dark Universe. I'm not 100% sure on that but if that's true well who knows what we could see moving forward. I don't think they're ever going to officially call it the Dark Universe again but it does sound like they're definitely still taking the idea the concept of doing all these monster movies. So anyway, without further ado, let's go check out the trailer. Okay. <laughs> Sounded like an animal. But I so we're going to be in the middle of nowhere on a farm. Basically my dream house. Are you going to die? No. It's my yes, job. Yes, probably. <laughs> What's wrong with daddy? She got sick. Is that you? So I feel like most of the movies about the Wolfman or wolves in general that I've seen tend to take place in like a different time period. There's Red Riding Hood, there's the Wolfman movie from 2010, which I remember being disappointed in but thinking it was visually stunning and had so much potential. I think that had Anthony Hopkins in it. I should re-watch that. Let me know what you think of that movie down below if you've seen it. So, look, this movie obviously has the typical horror family making bad decisions, going into the middle of the woods with their child when the husband is obviously dangerous at that point. And you can see that they know he's dangerous. But look, I'm interpreting a lot from a minute-long trailer. So, obviously, I don't know the full story yet. I think it didn't really hook me the way I was hoping but I'm still going in with high expectations because obviously that is only a teaser trailer and from what I've seen from Lee Winnell I've been happy with it so far from what I've seen of him as a director so yeah I can't say that I'm too excited based on this trailer but I'm hoping the next trailer will change my mind when we see more than just a little glimpse of the movie. That being said, I don't like when trailers show too much, but with this particular movie, I feel like I need to see a little bit more to be excited, but, well, I should say more excited. I am still excited, so let me know what you guys thought of the trailer down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube stuff. Thanks, guys.